Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to determine if your computer is currently capable of running a 64-bit version of Windows, especially if you're currently running a 32-bit version of the operating system. So while most CPUs should be able to support the upgrade because I believe everything since Core 2 is 64-bit compatible, um, there are other components that really need to be factored in as to whether or not you're able to run the 64-bit version of Windows. So this will tell you by running this utility if your processor supports running this version of Windows. So we're going to jump right into it and we are going to start by navigating over to this website here. Keep in mind if you actually are using Windows 7 and I believe Windows 8 as well if you have the performance information and tools. So basically if you ran like a performance scan and told you about your processor, RAM, graphics and you got a sub score, it would tell you at the bottom of that scan, it would tell you if, if your system is 64 bit capable. But if you do not have that or if you just really don't feel like going through that process, this tool will work for any modern version of Windows. So we are going to select on this page, we're going to select the Download Now button. You can see it has over 4 million downloads, so it's a pretty safe and popular download by the looks of it. So we're going to download now. It's going to ask you what you want to do with this file. It's only about 115 kilobytes, so it's very small. I'm just going to save and run it. It's going to take very long to do either one of those. So once you click on Yes, if you receive a user account control window, it should immediately give you the scan results and we're going to see some interesting information here. So once this comes up, the most important result on this screen that comes up should be the maximum bed length. If it says 64 here, that means your processor does support it and for most people that should be good enough to upgrade to a 64-bit version of Windows. This can be especially practical if you're trying to upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Windows 10 and perhaps it came with a 32-bit version of Windows and you want to take advantage of some of the performance benefits of a 64-bit operating system as well as other factors as well. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to answer some of your guys' lurking questions. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.